Good afternoon, family and friends. Um, today is Sunday, July the 10th, 2016. And the Lord wanted me to declare this vision that He showed me last night. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now, and I'll probably look at my notes. Um, it should be very short for you. Um, first of all, I um, had gone to sleep last night, and I ended up um, praying for a while. In fact, I even told the Lord, Lord, I'm, my eyes are getting very heavy. You know, if he would show me anything further on the rapture, because I've had to share some of the um, instructions that he's given me about the rapture on Facebook. And I was uh, about to go to sleep. I was nearly asleep because I was so tired. It, I probably was um, into prayer about a good half hour. As I was um, starting to doze off, he showed me um, what appeared to be like a yield sign that you would see, like, you know, whether, uh, you know, one of those yellow yield signs that you would see on the road. The yield sign had um, on it two pairs, or one pair of boots uh, that were black. They looked like rain boots, but the boots were not upright, they were sideways. I understand now what he was trying to show me with that because when I declared it to my husband and my son earlier this morning he gave me understanding as to what that meant and I'll go over that here in just a moment. The second vision that he gave me last night was um, different because usually when he gives me a vision I don't um, necessarily feel the vision physically this one was different because it was about the rapture and it surprised me because what he showed me um, was because of what I prayed for I had asked for more insight on the rapture and how that would happen and it literally jolted me it shook me and the only way I could describe it to my husband this morning was that it jolted me in the sense of like if lightning had struck me. In this vision, he showed me that not only did he jolt me, but I was taken away quickly. Um, also, there was traces of, uh, I, like I said, I can only describe it as like a lightning jolt. And in this jolt, after I had vanished from the vision, um, there was a trace of smoke. Perhaps um, it was the um, the nature of how fast he came. So we were on our way to church and my husband actually asked me again, can you tell me about your rapture vision again? And so I went over it with him and he gave me understanding at that point in time that the boots on the yield sign, the reason they were sideways and not upright or laying down or any other way. The reason they were um, sideways, he gave me understanding that that was, um, that it meant swept away, as in swept off your feet away. So um, those are the two visions um, that he gave me back to back. Uh, this was late last night. Um, probably just past midnight. I went to bed around 1130. I was in prayer um, in bed about half an hour and then um, like I said the the yield sign I received first very clearly awake. Um, again very tired but still awake uh, enough to um, see what he was trying to show me. Um, I got confirmation um, before I went to church this morning with my family, um, I watched a co-watchman's video, and in her video, um, he gave me an understanding that um, that I did indeed understand what he had shown me. Um, when you have a vision, there usually it uh, usually accompanies research, um, and he also gave me uh, confirmation at church during the ceremony because as some of you may know I had shared on Facebook about the seeds in our heart and about how the Lord had told me that we needed to 
have no remaining ailments is what he gave me. He actually gave me the letters NRA. When he gave me that two days ago, I sort of giggled and I said, Lord, I know that doesn't have anything to do with guns, so what is this NRA? And he said um, to tell the people that we cannot have no remaining ailments on our heart. And what that means specifically, what you need to understand, what he's given me as understanding is that we cannot have any resentment. We can't have any jealousy, any remaining anything that is unpleasing to him. Um, we can't have uh, hatred in our hearts for things that maybe uh, have happened in the past that have embedded themselves in dormancy in our heart. We have to ask for forgiveness. If you can't remember some of the things maybe, because I don't remember everything I've done in my life either. What I've done is, and I've instructed other people that have asked me, is I tell them that um, I suggest, I don't know the answers to everything, but I suggest as talking to the Lord out loud, um, He has suggested that it's best for us to get on our knees and pray to Him. And He will still hear us regardless, but it um, seems to be more, um, not effective, but powerful. And um, we just need to ask for forgiveness of all of our sins and any kind of um, debilitating ailment in our heart that we might have, that we might have forgotten about. Um, so it's something that you have to do a one-on-one -on -one with the Lord and, and ask for forgiveness. That way, you know, you're, you're aligning yourself um, for the rapture. We don't know, nobody knows when the rapture will be. Um, it's a very touchy subject. Um, it's hard to understand in the Bible because sometimes it, it gives the perception that yes, there's a rapture that happens pre-tribulation and then um, there's indications in Revelations that it happens towards the end, at the end of uh, Trumpet 7 to be precise. Um, but um, as I've said before, uh, he has shown me that um, Unfortunately, Obama doesn't plan to go anywhere, and I want to stress to all of you that what's recently in the news um, about the um, the Dallas shootings, the Orlando shootings, those are all staged. I know that that's not something that you want to believe, that <clears throat> you don't want to believe that your government's up to this, but they are. The Lord has shown several watchmen about this, uh, not in specifics, specifically to me, um, but it's my understanding in prayer. Um, that he confirms it, that yes indeed these are staged because the ultimate goal is to retrieve our guns. If they retrieve our guns, they unarm us and then they can proceed with their agenda. That agenda is described in the Bible and it's really important because we don't know when the rapture happens. It's very important for all of you to know that reading Revelations is a must. Revelations, I have told everybody, I've told my sister, I've told my family, everybody, please read Revelations. It's your compass. It's very important for you to um, know it. Um, uh, anyhow, I just wanted to share the visions with you. If you have uh, any similar visions that you can share with me um, to give me more discernment, um, I feel pretty good about what the Lord has divulged to me because He's given me confirmation uh, several times today. Um, but I'm always open to other watchmen um, that might have some ideas um, on what they've received. So please feel free to uh, comment in the uh, comment field. Um, God bless you and I'll keep you posted if I hear anything else. Um, God bless you. We love you.